Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I am super pumped today. The FedEx truck was just here. Happened to be sitting in the living room and I saw it roll down the street and I thought, could that be for me? And he backed into the driveway, came to the door, handed me a cardboard box with these guys inside. I knew the 850 was coming and I've been so excited to get it here, unbox it, show you guys and do some shooting with it. My friends at Nikon have loaned it to me for a review. It's only here for a short period of time, uh, a few weeks because of the demand for these to review them. So this is the 850 and I did request, as you know, my favorite 24 to 120 f4 VR to go with it. So that's a lens I'm going to be shooting with as well as um, some other primes and things. As you know, I've got the 50 and the 85 and some other lenses here. But let's get the 850 out of the box. It's um, It looks like they sent me a brand new one from what I'm seeing here. The, uh, the, the uh, manuals are in the top there and uh, warranty card and nothing looked like it had been open. I actually, I kind of cheated. I'd already been in here as I often do to get the battery out and get it on the charger. So it is upstairs charging right now as we speak. So uh, what else do we get in here? We have, um, that is the cap from the battery that is upstairs charging. Some bags from the charger and the battery that's upstairs charging. This um, little doohickey looks like some, I'm not even sure what this is. I'm gonna have to check the listing of what's included because um, I, I honestly don't know what that is. It's something technical looking, but I will look it up. Uh, we've got a uh, USB HDMI, uh, USB HDMI, USB to something. Looks like HDMI cable here. And uh, we have in the box, nicely padded box, corrugated cardboard in there, and then the camera. The D850 comes uh, wrapped in this nice bubble wrap protected little envelope. And then inside here, see what I mean? It looks like it's brand new. It's still got tags on it and everything. So I think they've sent me one of the first D850s brand new um, that they've got in for review here on the Nikon Canada side. So there it is. It's even got a tag on it here noting that it's SnapBridge, so I can download the app. Yeah, we've even got the, the peel-off plastic on the back on the um, LCD, the LCD that's hinged. So we have a do, we do have a flip-up LCD, as you'll remember on here. And uh, yes, very excited to get this. Feels very much like an 810 with a flip-up screen to me, just initial impressions. Very solid, very well put together. Usually, I mean, I, I think I've always felt that way about the Nikon cameras. This is obviously a higher end one, and it, it just it looks and feels like it as well. Um, everything on these cameras is usually, you know, good tactile feel to the buttons. You push the buttons. We've got the um, quality, white balance, exposure, and the mode buttons up top here, and they have a nice tactile feel to them, good and solid. We've got the um, the shooting ring below them that allows us to change between. Um, uh, single, continuous low, continuous high, and uh, and the various other settings for that. And uh, yeah, just a really nice looking camera. We've got the, the various buttons and joystick on the back. We've got the two command dials, as you do in the, in, in the uh, better, higher end bodies. You've got, you know, one dedicated dial control for your aperture, one for your shutter speed. You don't get that on the lower end bodies, say in a 5600, 5500, or in the 3400 series. So um, beautiful looking. I'm very excited to get this camera into action. Let's get the lens out. You guys have seen this lens before because I've had it here with the 610. I think I had it with the 750. It is my, my favorite um, standard zoom from Nikon, the 24 to 120 f4 VR, uh, and in here I believe, if I remember correctly, we have um, this is just a uh, a pouch, so a lens pouch, which I usually never take out of the box because I don't use them. I just put them straight the the, the uh, lens straight into my camera bag. So comes with a hood, which is good because uh, some companies don't give us a hood with the lenses, and obviously too this even the lens has its um, warranty card and the manual here although with lenses there's not a lot of a whole lot to read 
in the owner's user's manual, owner's manual. Uh, with the cameras, I always recommend to have a, a quick perusal. And, uh, you know, if you're very familiar with Nikon bodies as I am, then you probably just want to look at some of the newer features and, and some of the points that you want to know to get done. If you're not, then have a, a, a more in-depth, detailed read. Let's get the bag off of this. Let's get our uh, 24 to 120 out of the bag. Because actually, I want to want to throw it on the 850. Let's see if she's clean. Not too bad. Could probably use a quick, a quick cleaning. More importantly, how's the rear element looking before we pop it on the? Looks like we got a couple little bits of dust. Hang on one sec. Just wanted to grab my can of compressed air of dust off, because this stuff is great for removing dust off elements and lenses and other things. Just give it a quick shot, and then we know we've got a clean back end of that lens. And let's put this, where's my dot to match it up? Beautiful. So there we go. I think we can put this straight on here as is without the lens cap coming off. Yes, we can. Okay, so there's the D850 with the 24 to 120 uh, F4 VR on it. Suits it quite nicely, actually, giving us quite a nice range. You know, 24 is pretty wide when you're on full frame. This beautiful 46 megapixel full frame sensor in here. Uh, camera shoots 4K. We've got the, the flip up LCD. Um, what else do we need to know? What else do we need to know about the 850? Just checking my spec sheet to make sure. So it's got the, it's a BSI full frame sensor just to be um, backside illuminated for those of you, of you that aren't familiar with the BSI nomenclature. Um, it's got no optical low pass filter. So we're looking, you know, that was an, um, came from the original 800E, which was an option. And now they've, they've made it basically standard because that no optical low pass filter on there makes it much um, more detailed, better resolution. Um, so it's a 46 megapixels, uh, outstanding dynamic range, says virtually no risk of moray. Uh, nine frames per second at full resolution and full AF performance. That's pretty cool for a 46 megapixel sensor. A 4K time lapse movies. Um, tilting touchscreen, we saw that. Uh, outstanding battery performance. 4K Ultra HD video recording. Slow motion at up to 120 FPS frames per second at 1080. Uh, and the lowest base I.O., ISO 6400 of any DSLR or mirrorless camera. So... Those are the main points. Those are the main talking points for the D850. Very excited to get this uh, this thing into the field and shooting it. Uh, I'm going to do some video, some 4K video, obviously. Uh, we'll try the 120 time lapse. Um, very excited that they were able to send me the t uh, 24 to 120 because uh, it's a very versatile lens to have on the, uh, the venerable 850. Um, yeah, fit and finish is, it, from what I'm seeing, is great. Nothing, uh, nothing stands out as a problem. If anything, it's the opposite. It, it looks, it's very nicely put together, um, very nicely built. Uh, the tactile feel of the rubber and the grips is great. Um, just what you'd expect from, you know, if you're coming from an 800 or an 810, the 850 is a very uh, familiar body to get your hands on. And uh, really looking forward to getting shooting. You know what I'm gonna, I, I should point out. I needed a uh, memory card. I was thinking about that when it came in, that I'm going to need a, uh, a large memory card for these files. And I have another one of these uh, Samsung Evo Select UHS-1 um, Class 10 3, so U3s. These are uh, read speeds of 100 megasecond and write speeds of 90. And this is a 128 card. So and it, it's, it's a micro, but it comes with an SD adapter. So I'm going to put this in the D850, and that should give me plenty of room and plenty of speed, 128 gig card and um, fast 4K enabled card. So these were on for a really good deal recently, and I picked up a few. I just haven't opened this one yet. So that's great because it'll go into the D850. I'll put links below. You want to check out the card. You want to check out the lens, the camera. Links below. Check it out. Get more information. See the user reviews and what people are saying about it. Check out uh, the pricing too. So um if you have any questions on the 850 or the lens or the card or anything we've talked about, leave them in the comments below. We'll be back soon, definitely, with lots more on the 850. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.